comes on Monday, I have to shower and I have to study, okay? You know what? The other day I was in this museum and you know what I found out? What? The first ever woman was named Lucy. Okay, I know this guy's supposed to be an idiot, but dusting off my anthropology hat, Lucy is not considered the first woman. She's considered part of an early hominid species known as Australopithecus afarensis. Certainly not the first woman. Mr. Zhang wants to offer you a job. <sighs> I don't want a job. Okay, so is this supposed to be a comedy? One neuron, you're alive. Two neurons, you're moving. And with movement, interesting things begin to happen. There are plenty of organisms living today that lack neurons. Neurons and having a nervous system is not required for life. Oh, let's add another sin for the two neurons equal movement statement, because that's certainly not the case. Yet most species only use three to five percent of its cerebral capacity. No, and this sin will bleed over into the next for a reason I will explain in a second. But can someone please explain to me what Morgan Freeman means by cerebral capacity? But it isn't until we reached human being that we finally see a species use more of its cerebral capacity. Here's the thing. Humans and other life on Earth evolved to handle certain conditions or environmental pressures. For us and many other animals with the nervous system, that system evolved to how it is today to be as efficient and as functional as possible, given the environment in which we developed. That means we have a brain that developed to meet our needs and assure our reproductive success. A brain that is not operating at full quote-unquote cerebral capacity would not be needed and would be a huge waste of energy. The only living being that uses its brain better than us, the dolphin. Now, dolphins developed under different environmental pressures. It is estimated that this incredible animal uses up to 20% of its cerebral capacity. So they develop different means of surviving than humans. In particular, this allows it to have an echolocation system. Echolocation is not a unique feature to dolphins, as whales and even bats are capable of doing this. The scientific term is CPH4, which is not very sexy from a sales point of view. No. Looking up this fictional drug online, this movie is getting a sin for me finding the question, can I buy the drug from the movie Lucy? Though, I guess of anyone who would need it, that anonymous internet user would be the first. That way, when they die, they hand down essential information and knowledge to the next cell. The human brain is the prime reason as to why we cannot think of evolution and passing down genes as a passing down of knowledge and learning. Almost everything we do is learned, from the fears that we develop to the languages that we speak. These aren't something that are passed down through our genes. Again, is this a comedy? And what to say about Darwin, whom everybody took for a fool when he put forth his theory of evolution? Well, Darwin was considered to be credible and used science to support his claims after rigorous study. He only put forward his hypothesis after having had sufficient evidence to do so. 100 billion neurons per human, of which only 15% are activated. While the exact number of neurons remains unknown, we have another type of brain cell that substantially outnumbers neurons, glial cells. Also, if only 15% of neurons are activated, the whole concept of synaptic pruning, which is the removal of connections between unused cells, and apoptosis, which is the intentional death of unused brain cells, just got thrown out of the window. Both well-documented brain phenomena highlight the if you don't use it, you lose it principle. And what would be the next stage? Well, the next stage would probably be control of other people. So people already control others. What do you think the antagonist here is doing with Scarlett Johansson? Controlling her to make her carry out something for them. But for that, we would need to access at least 40% of our brain's capacity. How exactly do you know what the result of 40% usage of cerebral capacity would lead to? Come control of matter. But now we're entering into the realm of science fiction. No, we're already in that realm. Although more fiction than science. 100%? Yes. I have no idea. Actually, you'd be normal. Hear me out on this. Have you ever taken in so much stimuli that you 
just couldn't concentrate. Your brain acts as an automatic filter without which you would not be hyper-focused. You'd be distracted as hell. Hey. If she's such a brain genius, why the f*** would she be eating food that is probably covered in blood which carries all these pathogens? I don't know why, but for me, this is one of the most absurd parts of the movie. We are able to feel pain for a reason, as it increases our survival so that we avoid dangerous stimuli, you know, because it hurts. So I will maintain this until the day I die. Feeling pain is not a weakness. Five cents. Hey, speak English? No, no, no. Ah! You speak English? Yes, yes. Take me to the hospital now. Serious question, why would such a brain genius need to use violence to get their needs and wants met? Wouldn't negotiation be better? Less stress is induced that way, and stress is actually pretty bad for both brain structural and cognitive functioning. Mom, I feel everything. No, you lying. You don't feel pain, remember? Again, one of the dumbest things about the movie. Where are the others? The others carrying the drugs. I need the rest of it for medicinal purposes. A lot of affect, a general lack of empathy, desensitization to pain, a willingness to easily murder innocent bystanders, or to even manipulate them for her own personal gain. So CPH4 overdose turned her into a psychopath, right? Thank you for sharing. Okay, she killed someone in the middle of surgery, yet left this man alive? What brain genius does that? You know, except this one guy, but he, uh, he's not Chinese. So her brain may be operating that fast, but that computer would not be. Absorbed a large quantity of synthetic CPH4 that will allow me to use 100% of my cerebral capacity. So I'm colonizing my own brain. Uh, well, I, <clears throat> I don't know, but... Uh... So Morgan Freeman here has the equivalent reaction I had about how BS this movie is. Desire. It's like all things that make us human are fading away. She ate, and very ravenously too, which you would need to feel desire, the desire to eat, in order to maintain your energy-intensive brain. Now you're losing me, movie. Still waiting for the echolocation stuff. Still waiting for the echolocation stuff. Why didn't she use her brain powers to move people and drivers off of the road or get onto national broadcast and declare a national emergency telling everyone to go indoors? Mm. Oh. Oh, thanks. She just made a mime. See? Total psychopath. Drop them down like you did in the hospital. There's something to be said for learning which worked the first time, brain genius. Miss Lucy has, for reasons that remain a mystery to me, previously unexplored cerebral zones. Like per this movie, the entire cerebral cortex, or at least 90% of the cerebral cortex, because I am honestly confused. Daughter Gabrielle, age six, died in a car accident. Plastic bird hanging from the rear view mirror. So this roughly translates to your daughter's dead and you killed her. What a little psychopath. <laughs> I know this is a movie element, but when you and the rest of the BBF crew pause the movie to burst out laughing, you have to send it. I mean, what cop doesn't notice the heavily armed men in Paris? Paris, where citizens aren't armed. Also, is this a comedy? How did you manage to access all this information? Electrical impulses. Every cell knows and talks to every other cell. Yeah, they already do that in everyone's brain. <laughs> We've codified our existence to bring it down to human size, to make it comprehensible. We Why are these guys not freaking the freak out? Just because they're scientists doesn't mean they're immune to reacting at what is essentially magic to them. 
We've codified our existence to bring it down to human size to make it comprehensible. We've so this is how I talk when I'm high. I'm just gonna keep it handy. But if humans are not the unit of measure, what governs all that? Time is the only true unit of measure. Scientists don't have an agreed upon way in which to define time. Our brains experience time subjectively based on our emotions and situations. It can seem fast or slow based on what we're doing. Ignorance brings chaos, not knowledge. That's a great line and all, but can you please stop killing people and then dragging other people onto your mess? Those scientists were alive before you entered the building, bringing chaos and destruction with you. I know this is another movie element. Well, maybe not. Can anyone physics me the person who shot this freaking statue? What is she making? New generation computer. You mean to tell me that with all this brain power unleashed, all she did was make a new generation computer? Get the f out of here. Hey. Where is she? Oh, please don't say everywhere. Please don't say everywhere. Please don't say everywhere. Generation computer, I presume. 